In this video, I'm going to present you the latest extension from Amazing Business Results, and this is the ABR Calendly extension for Zoho CRM. In this extension, we connected Zoho CRM and Calendly in a beautiful way. There are tons of features, lots of brain behind this extension. In this video, I'm going to show you a full demo of all the features and also what's coming next for this extension. Let's begin. Let's begin with feature number one, and that will be the actual booking. You can book an appointment from your CRM. We support the contacts, leads, accounts, and deals modules. You will have on the right side a button, which I will show you in a second how to use it. And from here, you can book appointments for teams or users in your system. You can also have a booking link that exists on your website. And as an example, on our website, we have a link, a book now. And when you click on it, it opens Calendly. And that's also part of the integration. You can have also on your landing page, you can have an embed that you can use there to book an appointment. And the last one, it will be a direct link. It might be from your email or you just send the link to someone. All those are integrating into our extension. From the CRM, which is obviously the most important part, whenever someone says, okay, let's book a meeting. You can click on the book calendly event. It will open our extension. And then you will have your ability to select a user. In my case, I have two users in my system and each one of them will have its own calendar. Or I can also schedule team events in, all, in, in case that I have a calendly team event and I want to use that. In our case, let's go with uh, Matt and then I can select, for example, a 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes sales meeting. Whenever you click on it, it will load the calendar. You can select the correct date and then you can book the appointment. The information will come from the CRM and it will preload automatically for you. All you need to do is just add, in my case, I have here the agenda, which is a mandatory field. In your case, you can have any fields that you like. And I will just write here test meeting and I will click on schedule event. Okay, the meeting is confirmed and now this meeting is synced with the CRM. Feature number two will be the automatic meeting creation. Whenever you are booking an appointment on Calendly, it will automatically be synced into the correct record. In my case, it will be a contact, but in some cases, maybe I will have a lead. So it will sync to the correct module. And then on the related modules, you will see under the open activities that a new meeting was created from the Calendly booking. You can also see all the information related to this specific meeting. Feature number three will be the module support. We are supporting all the main modules, which are the leads, contacts, accounts, and deals. In case that you like to have more integrations with more modules, please let us know and we will be able to try to accommodate your needs. Feature number four will be the cancel and reschedule links. There will be lots of occasions that you will need to cancel or reschedule events or maybe send your clients a link to reschedule or cancel. In our extension, whenever we are booking an appointment, we will have the URL for the event itself we will have the reschedule link and also the canceling. In some cases, you would like to click them yourself and cancel or reschedule without going back to Calendly. But in some cases, you would like to run automation emails and those automations will include those links. As an example, I will send an email to a client that there is a meeting today at 4 p.m. And if he is okay with it, join the meeting. If you want to reschedule, click here. If you want to cancel, click here and then it's basically saving some admin time from your side when the client calls and want to reschedule. Feature number five, which I think is the, the biggest thing that we did on this extension, it's what happens when a booking takes place. Currently with version number one, and this is the version that I'm presenting you right now, whenever there will be a booking, we are going to select the correct lead or the correct contact and based on that, we are going to assign the lead to it exactly the same way that I showed you on the system. This contact was in the system and we added the meeting to the same contact. 
So this is option number one. Option number two, whenever there is a booking, so let's say someone goes to my website, looks at the website, is happy with what he sees, go to the contact us, and then he wants to book a meeting. This person that is going to book a meeting is not our client, is not a lead or a contact. In that case, there will be few options. If the lead, if you choose that you want to create this person as a lead in the system, this new person will be created as a new lead in the CRM and the meeting will be assigned to it. In some cases, you would like to have a differentiation. As an example, in my case, in our company, whenever we have a meeting that the uh, the meeting in name starts as an intro meeting and those will be those type of meetings you see it says intro meeting if it says intro meeting we automatically skip the lead process and we push it automatically as a deal because in my case if someone is serious enough to go to the website click on the link and start filling this form I see it as a mature person that wants to meet with me and I'm skipping the lead process altogether. And this is, again, this is an option. So in my system, in this extension, I will be able to say that intro meeting will automatically skip the lead process. Now, even though we are skipping the lead process, we are not really skipping it. If people will come as leads and then they will be converted to a deal then in my system I can see a conversion and this is the right way to do it so even though we are pushing it as a deal is still going through the lead being converted to a deal it's all being done automatically in the background and therefore it's not screwing up your reporting because if I'm just pushing it as a deal there is no conversion and you will not see this person as someone that came to your system Next, we have the support. Lots of people will not know what to do with our extension or any extensions, because those extensions will need to have some configurations and installation. Most of us are not that technical. In this case, we're giving free support to anyone, even if you're on a free trial. You can join every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern daytime. You can join our sessions. We have free sessions with our CTO, extremely smart person and he can help you with installation configurations questions anything that you need help with we can also help you one-on-one -on -one, free of charge whatever you need the idea is that the extensions that we spent on this extension as an example almost a year of work the idea is that you can make use of it and it can help your business this is why we created a bunch of extensions we have right now, we have five extensions in the marketplace. By the end of the year, we'll have about nine or 10. And each one of those extensions are solving specific business problems that will cost you thousands of dollars if you need to develop them by yourself. But we did it for you. We have here, for example, the ABR leads extension. This is a full lead system that's supposed to cost about between four to $6,000. You're getting it for a few dollars a month. We have the ABR Smart Account Relationship Manager, which allows you to maintain relationship with your customers. Make sure that your customers are not disappearing and you keep in touch with them. We have the email deliverability, which makes sure that every email in your CRM is actually a legit email. And if not, the email will not be sent to it and your domain reputation will get damaged. We have the ABR text messaging. It's a full text message system that works on top of Twilio and it looks like a chat and the entire company using one phone number and our extension is smart enough to understand which user in your system is supposed to get the alerts and communicate with the contact. And we have the ABR chat GPT extension. It's a very light extension for people in Europe that can't use the existing Zo CRM extension with ChatGPT. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I was able to bring you some value. I recommend you to try and take advantage of those extensions. It will extend your CRM and you can make much more use out of the system. Mm.